What's going on guys, Phil here from Phil's Craft Corner. Today I am going to talk about my K40 laser six months after purchasing this. I purchased this second hand and the person I bought it off had it for a year before I had it. Yeah, they couldn't really get it set up and just left it in the garage which is pretty bad for the tube but the tube is still good now. Uh, I've not lost any power from the tube. I've had to replace two parts on this. One of them was the power supply. Uh, I got a Cloudray power supply and swapped that out. It was just a straight swap because the flyback actually went and that only went last week. So that's done really well. That's done at least five months of quite intense work. Uh, the second bit I had to replace was the limit switches here. Uh, this comes with optical limit switches which after a while they just go and it doesn't know where they are so I replaced them with mechanical. It was a little bit more work but uh, there's quite a few resources online to get that done. It wasn't too bad. Okay, so the first thing I did on this machine was I put my water cooler down here. So I put the aquarium pump into this. This needs changing. Uh, this is around six months old now. It's starting to get a little bit of a uh, build up in there. So I'm gonna change that water. I've just ordered some more. So when that comes, this is gonna get changed. As you can see, take this lid off. There's a bottle in there. This is full of just normal water. I put that in the freezer. I have one downstairs freezing while this one is in here. So I rotate the two whenever I'm using this machine. I get about three hours worth of use before the temperature raises too much and I have to stop. This has got 20 litres of distilled water in there. Uh, I've just ordered another 20. Uh, it's quite cheap to use and it's lasted about six months. The next thing I did was I added an air assist, which is this hose here. Just goes through the hole at the back of the machine and it's it's okay, it's not perfect. It runs quite well, uh, it does the job. Uh, this machine for me was never intended to be a permanent machine. I was always going to upgrade it. This was just to get me into laser engraving. So this air pump just has a little you can see that a little nozzle at the end of the pipe and that just points where I need it to and it's held on to the laser head by an elastic band which again is very basic very simple uh, very low tech but it works it does a decent job the other things I've upgraded is the mirrors I'll show you on this mirror if you can see that these mirrors are Molly mirrors. I will put a link to them in the description. I got these and that cut the power usage down by about 50%. I could cut at the same speed but use 50% power or I could cut at almost double speed. It doesn't quite work like that but I could cut a lot quicker uh, on these with the new mirrors. I've also upgraded the lens. The lens I use is one of these ones, uh, USA ZNSE, 50.8mm uh, focal length, 12mm diameter. That fits perfectly in this head and is just a straight swap out for the old lens. And again, this lens allows me to cut quicker using less power which is brilliant, uh, it's what you need, so the two things I recommend doing straight away with your K40 is upgrade the mirrors and the lens, that's one, uh, put an air assist on it, that's two. The air assist will help massively with cutting as well because it will remove all the excess debris from where you're cutting and you're going to be cutting a clean piece of wood rather than cutting all the charcoal and debris that's left, all this sap and everything that's up here because uh, that gets all left in the groove for the cut and then it just kind of gunks up and the laser struggles to get through that. The bed on here, I did have one of those uh, mechanical uh, scientist lifts that you have like a little turn and you can turn it and raise it and lower it. It was a bit of a pain to get into, I didn't want to go drilling holes in any of the sides or anything like that to extend that and get in there and 99% of the time I'm just cutting 4mm MDF on this thing because th that's what I use and it's it's what I'm happy using um, so this is set up now 4mm MDF 
as you can see these little legs are made up of scrap pieces of wood and stuff and that was from experimenting uh, so this is very very temporary this was just to get me back working again and get me back into my orders and catch it back up so these are very temporary this is just sat on the top um, and I'm going to have a more permanent solution I'll probably measure the height of these and cut and build some boxes to sit in the corners because each one of these is a slightly different height uh, because the bed is not flat at the bottom uh, which you will get on every single K4. One of the other upgrades I did was I added this Manro's inline extractor rather than the fan at the back I took that out completely um, and I made a flange for this one to fit in and it runs all the way up here through there this bit that dangles down that goes out of my window uh, which as it's raining today and it's been raining all day I can't do much lasering because that's got to go out the window so that's the K40 guys that's my K40 I've not done a ton of upgrades I haven't added a digital sensor on here I haven't upgraded the control board uh, all I've done is I've added a bit of masking tape on here so I can put some notes down for the different sites I use and how that works with my machine and just things I need to remember how far from initializing the laser I need to come down to the work piece which is now what this piece is for I just cut a straight line across to the right and down from initialization and now when I initialize laser it goes right into the corner and I just move two mils right and down and that's perfect uh, my pot I have some little markings here in pencil from where I was doing testing and which material cuts and engraves at which power and speed I have notes on my PC for that for all different types of materials so these are just a few of the examples of the things that I make on the K40 uh, this I actually did last night I bought the file for this one which had all A to Z uh, of the monogram letters and then you just fill in your name across the middle uh, in ink scale when weld them together and then send it through uh, this took around 10 minutes to cut the whole thing and it's half a sheet because I twisted it this way and it's only 150 mil high and so you get two of those out of one sheet um, so that's quite a, a good little project to use and use to sell to people. Uh, these shapes are absolutely brilliant for any time of year. I'm looking at doing some baubles for Christmas. So these are a good quick little one as well and you can fit four or five depending on the shape on a sheet of those. Um, this sleigh was probably one of the more complex things that I made because it's all 3D and all puts together and comes apart in pieces just like so uh, you can glue them together you can paint them this one actually used two sheets and it took a little bit longer so that took about half an hour to cut and then you can make things that are quite useful like this little hammer um, I made this out of one sheet again uh, put my little logo across there just to fancy it up for myself and get a bit of practice glued it all together this thing's quite solid I use it for quite a few things uh, I did a special Easter video where I smashed Easter eggs and cream eggs and stuff with this thing and that was quite fun to do um, I might have to make something similar again so that's it guys uh, profit wise on the K40 you can make quite a bit of profit so for example these I'm selling these at £10 each uh, painted uh, just spray paint them they cost around 12 pence for the material and about 10 minutes work the spray paints probably around half an hour but you can be making other stuff while this is actually drying because uh, obviously that's going to take about 30 seconds to do a coat of paint uh, while the other ones are cutting out um, so that's just an example these things uh, I've actually sold these for 20 pence each and like I say uh, I got five of those from one sheet and one sheet costs around 20 pence so uh, one of these 
is the cost of the sheet and then the other four are your profit so that's 80 pence profit per sheet uh, and you know that's it's not too bad just because it like I say I can run this for six hours a day so you're working out around 21 pound an hour profit from your laser machine if you can get your items out there and to be sold so all in all would I buy a K40 again no but that's only because of the size restriction if I only needed A4 size and to do things at this size then definitely yes but for me personally I need a bigger machine so I have gone for the upgraded machine to this which again is a Chinese machine it's coming from Germany which doesn't make sense but it's definitely worth your first laser being a K40 just so you can learn to repair learn what you need to do and adjust things just to get it just right so that if you did run into problems with a more expensive machine you can then know what the issue is and you can get it sorted because there are issues with these things but there's a lot of information out there for you to get over those issues and have fun with it so hopefully this video was informative to some people hopefully you didn't get super bored of me just rambling on about my machine and hopefully you get yourself k40 you have some fun and you make some cool stuff if you do get one let me know down below what you make uh, if you're making a video just link it down below and i'll check it out see what you're doing and uh have fun with your machine Check out some of the other videos that I've got because quite a lot of them have got resources for you to test out, files for you to pick up and things like that and just have fun with it. So thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in the next video.